Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everyone, it's Dan and I am here with OJ. And this is Game 4 of the Conference Finals on EA Sports. It's now time for the next moment. This matchup is going to be a win or go home between Carolina and Toronto Maple Leafs, but this is the last chance for Toronto Maple Leafs if they win this game. They've lost three games in a row against the Carolina Hurricanes that are on the road, but only one home game, but this is it. No chances are, get sweeped or stay alive. And this time, we're gonna find out who's gonna take it in here. My next commentators I have it in between, I have a winning of S's in the range, Tyler Bees, and he's also with along with the other two. And so right now he's with the number one that you can take off for. And this one calls for Roy Cruz. And he's also with the other side of the two. All three ones to take. And that may be Fall Point Pen and the Center Ice Face Meatball. We'll see you all later for the post game show after this. And for all that moment here, it's going to be what it takes. 3 to old Carolina Leeds. Let's see if they can answer this back. Now, off to you guys. Enjoy! It is what happens in Toronto, Canada at Scotty Bank Arena. The night is the night where the Maple Leafs come in for the night's game. Win or go home, this will be it for Toronto Maple Leafs if they don't stay alive. Clock is off and we're ready to start things underway. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. I'm Tyler Beast and I am here with my broadcast and partner here with along with the other two. Right in between of the zones. From the other zone with Roy Cruz and Paul Quinn Penn. Ready to start. Burns starts it. That shot's blocked. And it's here Spencer Cup. He will have it over to get an Ajo. Ajo's figuring it over in there. He lost that foot. Spencer Cup with the rebound now finding Burns. Burns gives it over to Slavin. Slavin shot. Up the block out. Ajo trying to battle for a loose cup. The Maple Leafs will have it in possession. Nineties gives it over to Matthews. A right over into the left wing. With a chance at her. Shot went wide. Now it's rolled over to Ajo. Ajo gets a bunch foul and it's Slavin with the rebound. You know, Bear takes it seven and they always get a hoot when they during the better offense, they're trying to like let them go in. But the defensive effort here trying to like slow them down because it's not always an easy win to take them because it's not always an easy or make. And you gotta play it out there on your own life. It's something that they've done here, but this is what they can't usually do to keep them from rolling in. This best team. And it's right now, he does it over now again to Drury. The kickoff back to Pesky. Lost the puck effort, he has to find again to Bunny. Pass to Drury. Drury moving around again, fires a shot, but saved by Samsonov. That'll be his first save of the night in game four with under 18 minutes. Officer gets set, ready for a faceoff. No score to game between the Toronto and Carolina. Carolina wins the faceoff. We directed on that time, and Drury will now have it over. The deep pass stolen by Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi has that puck in right turn in the left wing. Dumps it out of the own end as Pesky will now have it over. Takes a big hit, and a rebound puts up a Drury. This one never really has to take over this, but that defensive is not really going to be easy to take. You don't have enough timing out there, and you can't lose the effort if you take it. Sketchy now finds it over here to Drury. Drury fires it, saved by Samsonov. This one will stop the play here with 17 16 left to go in the first. Getting ready for the next faceoff. Now, their next faceoff is on its way. In appearances, but the goals still zero. And the win off puts in for Tavares. A chance that we're ready to get the McMahon. And it's stolen, but cleared along as Martin Hook will try to fire that one out. He's off to Jarvis. The pass to Orla. And Jarvis will have that fucking rebound. They give off to Martin Hook. Martin Hook shot, and the rebound in, scores! Justin Shotfield, that's his first goal in game four. 
now has eight. That is putting up a great one to start here. Game four, Jalen Chatfield for the tip first take in. You know, better is this and stuff we don't have to be out there, but that is Chatfield, he was making this for a good great goal. That is sticking in a great of this directional change. This has to be a, a closer than a call on the inbound. They're really are pushing it up, and that is where it starts things up here for the Carolina Hurricanes. They're really like keeping that pressure in. Really. Now the wind puts it in for here for Carolina as Martin Wick will try to dump that buck out of here. And Riley will have it over. And here's Tavares. Tavares with the puck. He's right over to the left. And is saved by Kochikov. Takes a big hit. And now it's Martin Wick over again. Now finds Jarvis. Over right over again is, is Riley. And now finding over is Youngbrook. Youngbrook on a speed way down. Gives it over to Tara Barra's shot. It's been stopped. Looks over to Chaffield. The deep pass and knows it goes offside. Stop the play in battle. Under 16 minutes in the first. Here's the take for Nylander. Nylander has one of his puck down his string. He really has a great one to take his all effort on his puck and string advantage. Keeping that puck on a stick and make that one a flingable in the moment. It's great enough to keep that one, they keep that one hacking out of the trouble, but it's a, always a great way to have this one a, a good look at the target range. Just for fast, losing that puck as nose in, will now fire that one around the net. And a giveover again to Fesky and Skeggy. Fires it. No deflection given here for nose in. This one stays out as he later will have it over. And Skeggy will have it over right 30 of the way. There's Logan who will try to make his way down right over into the right wing and back to Nylander. Nylander loses the effort and Peshti will have it over. The pass over again to Skeji. Skeji right over to Peshti. Whips it off. Natchez trying to pull in a rebound and this one gets it over. Buck went out of the zone as Natchez will have it over with the rebound back to Skeji and will clear that buck out. Wow, big kick. That one turned triple down. Nobody's liking this one at all. I don't know what's going to keep on coming in there, but that's just like a hurtful way to get there. And here's Petruzzi. Right toward in the center of it, and he now tries to make his way through. Pat's stuck here by Kochikov. He now tries to make his way through to Bunny. Bunny now finds Sarah Bynum. Almost lost the effort, and it goes right to Bunny. Doc goes up in the gap here, and Martin. Marner will have it over in right toward right the left of the wing, and he lost that one. Back to Oppo. 1350 left to remain in the first period, as he will have it again to Terabina. Here's Brett Burns to pass off to Slavin. Slavin shoots, he scores! Jacob Slavin, another goal made on a fire range. They're up by 2-0. That's not what happens for Jacob Slavin. That was where he just been made. He tried to avoid that. That would make this one like way into a little bit of a screen of it, and that's just how it is popping in there. That must have been turning it uh, right towards its right. That one fires it off that uh, quickly. And you know what happens now, because that goaltender doesn't really seem to make its appearance. That one is making a, a leak out of it. It just made a little trouble to make a scene vision here, because it doesn't really stand out when they're really keeping it in here. I just really like that Brett Burns has been doing it really well, just like... Go for a different change off, and then with that pass over a game of slapping, that keeps it up here a great target technique. You keep it in here at the right moment. I know it's just not always that hard, but I can always say that it is. Uh, close range or not. Here's Sarah Wine, and he will find it over to get a sketch of He's right behind the cage, and he will now give it over to Slavin. Give to Burns to Slavin. Slavin for another shot. Stopped by Samsonov. On the clear look with 13.08 to go in the first period, they'll get ready for the next faceoff. Now both centers are gliding up, ready for the faceoff. Game is 2-0. And, oh. and it's now the live boost game with the puck to cover. Now finding Riley. And he finds Naiz. Riley back to Naiz in the corner. Looks his way across in. Pass broken up here as Orla will now have it again to Markinov. The kickoff over wow, to Jarvis. Jarvis shot, saved here in the play. Stahl backing over again at Chatfield, and Orloff right toward in the center of the slot. Stahl. Can't find an open look. He now has it again to Martin up. Martin up. Loses the effort. 
And it's Naiz with the puck. Throw to left wing. Looks it over. Tavara, shot. And a save puts it up by the goaltender. This one stays out, and there's a penalty on Toronto. That's a bad one. Nobody's liking this one at all. This is what nobody is getting that one. A good throw of momentum out there. Playing on defense, this is bad idea. Nobody is giving that an imperfect look out there. When you're looking over at the holding on the shot to call, you're going to get that one fired up, and you're not going to play it really well. And this will be slashing on Naiz. That will be the first penalty kill on Toronto in game four. He's sliding into the penalty box. This will be the first power play coming up for Carolina. You know, it's not easy to way to make a slashing, and you don't want to play it like that. That was a little bit about unaggressive to take over with the attack. Carolina will take the first power play, which is only coming down to a, to a midway market period. Now the win puts it in for Domi. A little bit we'll have that with Bucky right towards in to the center. It's Valley for the loose puck. This one rebounds and Lilburn will take the puck out. Speeding his way down. Fire from the back end. And Natchez will have it again back to Drury. The give over to Nose in. Give and go to Terravine and saved by Samsonov. Oh, what an excellent stop here. That was not how it was going to happen like that. Even if it doesn't make that one in there cleanly, this needs to get this one a lot target straight. We need to get somebody else with a, a better look at the percentage. Keep it in here. Don't take anyone else away from it. Sketchy. Finds already to get a Natchez. Natchez on a shot for the blocking defensive effort. This one broke in the cup on the stick, and this will replace a new one. Yeah, it's just not even turning it really well. I mean, that's like a, a cheap off of the, on a stick, and I mean, I don't know what's going to keep on happening, but that might be what they're looking at. Here's Natchez for the backhand. Blocker stop made here by Sensodo. And he will try to reset it over again as Natchez will try to slam her back. And now he's willing into the center ice. He's right into the right wing. Give and go to Nozin. Drury stop. And this one's redirected off of Ludwig's stick. He passed the midway mark in the first half. Now the back half will be continuing in the first. Samsonov will try to cover it up with under 10 minutes remaining in the first. It's not always easy when you're doing it, but that is like how hard you get that thing. Tough it up to get that one a little bit of a loose of it right in between the toes. Now the win puts it in for Toronto, and now he has it over to get a Marner, gives it off to Bennett. Keeps the puck out. Now he's just ready to get back out there. And now back to Bunning. Gains his own name right toward into the center of his own. Full pressure's on here for the, for the Leafs as the power plays expire. Great job with the defensive effort here. You really are watching that place play by play. They have to go over it again and play it the right way. Sebastian Abel is one of his first eye ability. The better way he has it with a great little bit of his turn. His better one is keeping it right on simple. And for Nylander, he has a, one of his puck on the strings of advantage. And one way that we might be calling it for is how he can handle it with the puck on the string. It's a great way to have it all. But it just happened now to keep that one right toward slot. I'll be finding out those two right in between of Nylander and of Avo. And we'll find out who takes it in here to keep an eye on it. Back to you. And Spetchikov will have it over again. Now trying to find a pass. Gets a little bit of a whiff out of him and Sarah Miner will try to go for backhand. Chop the puck up and Spetchikov will have it again to Burns. Burns gives it Spetchikov and Slavin. Slavin shoots! Sands blocker stop made by Sensenov. Under 8.30 left to go in the first period of the game. Still a 2-0 game. Signaling they're ready to get the face off and we're ready to have it on board. Now the win puts it in as Stahl will have it over here to Pesky and Skidgy will have it in. And it's Marner with the buck seal. Which one middle? Stahl trying to grab that puck in. And he will clear that out. Unable to clear it from the center right. Poked it out. Stops in the corner. And he will slide it all the way down right toward the net. Icing's waved off. Jarvis down fights again to Pesky. And a look for Skedgy. Stopped by Sentinel with under eight minutes to remain in the first period. 
This one's not always easy enough. I can definitely say that this one is going to turn out to be a little bit of worse of it. It doesn't really mean to anybody, but that's what they are all really trying to do. Keep that passing in there as tightly as you can. They don't mean to anybody. It doesn't mean that they really keep it in there. Another stop made by Sansonoff with under 7 for you to go. Nearing down the first period, it's 2-0. Got it to win to Tavares, and now here's Jarko. Try to stop that one, and Orlov will now have it over again to Chaffield. Chaffield has it over again to Bunning. Loses that effort. Icing, and will be called on Carolina with 7.22 to go. Now they're up to do it our faceoff. Another win for Carolina as he'll have it over again. That pass is broken up as Orlov will have it the airway. The pass over now again to Natchez. Keeps it around the net as Ruby has it over again out to Jaffiel. And Orlov fires that shot. Save B by Sentinel. Great effort out there. And mostly at Sentinel was trying to get that one in there to glove that up. And that doubled that one in there down so he could definitely try to hold that puck here tightly. This one is just a hard one that they are trying to do. Not always an easier one, but they are trying to let that one get right through the kick. And Chaffield, shot off the blocker. Tavares again to Yarnbrook. Speeding his way through. And it's still a mile long. And Buddy will have it here away. Now he will try to get that one right around the net. As they just will have it over again. Trying to give off to Orlov. And Chaffield will have it over. Decided to go for a reset, and he wanted to try to make a little bit of a clean play. Yes, it's definitely what they're doing now. But as you already know, this one needs to get this one cleaner at the right strength. Every time that happens with the defender, it doesn't mean that he really has to keep that winning going over. They gotta try to do some a little bit of an uh, attacker defense. They can't let somebody else go down. And two hits already. Lambushkin tries to cover that one fuck up. And now Marner, saved by Kochikov. Pass under a six minute mark in the first period. They're trying to answer that one bit. Officially getting ready to drop the buck with 5.50 left to go, nearing the five minute mark. And the way we'll play it in, four D Arcades. Tries to give over to Slavin, and he makes it over to Ago. Tries to give over to get to Terravine. Terravina looking middle! Pass is not going to make it in there as this will be denied by Samsonov with just 5.33 to go. Domi wins the faceoff as Brody will now have it again to Logra. Logra over Terravina with the puck seal. Oh, just no idea how is he going to handle it that way. It's just uh, too much already. I mean, that defensive is not going to be picking up there really soon. And this one is not going to let that happen like it get right in anybody's way. So that's going to be like a, a tough takedown right at that moment. They're not really just like keeping it on a defensive effort, but they are like slowing that one here to get out of the way. Oh, what a great save by Kochikov. Under five minutes remaining in the first, they will have some, a little bit more time to get some a little bit more changes and get right back into it. Mitchell Barner, the third eye ability, might be taking for a great look. His passion does happen to be with the third eye of a chain. It's better to take this, it's another one to have it all there, guys. It might be a comfortable way to get through it. And the pass over now again to Martin up. He's right to the right wing, and he fires that one right again to Saul. Saul, loose the upward. Tries to give over to Slavin. Slavin now has to get a Saul and get the burn. For a shot! Up and away, and it goes right off the glass. Hurricane's battling for the rebound. This Jarvis will now have it again to Slavin. Slavin gets to burn to the backhand save by Santanov. A uh, great chance ever here for, for Slavin on the backhand, but this one's stopped by Santanov. Now they're ready to do the next faceoff. It's a 2 0 game, Carolina. And with another way, do his best feet. As he shoots off the blocker. Full pressure coming in. Goes in, trying to kick that puck out. He 
keep it alive, hits Fats. And it passes to Papsky. And Skedgy goes offside. Face off coming up in the center zone. Next face off on the way. Tavares wins the face off and now it's back to Yarnbrook again to Tavares. The spin move makes it to Yarnbrook to move around. Saved by Kochikov. Close on the call range and down, but that stays out of the net. And this is the shot wide. Oh, that was like an excellent to take over this, but that's not what you're doing it when you're playing on as a goaltender, but that is what they were really expecting to play for a battling for a rebound. This one has really got to keep that one out of here for a cleaner look. Better take the offense, it's not always a cigar, but they are really are pressuring it off like they did. Best he will have that fucking cleared out of the way with under three minutes remaining in the first. As he now is making his way forward. And a pass over now finding Bunny. Bunny. With a chance effort. Shoots it! That badly aimed and went off the wall and it goes right back again to rebound it again. Drury looks to pass. And it's when he got trouble made on him. Give to Pesky. See! Bunning shot! Big stop by Samson out. Here's Tavares. Has it now again to McMahon. McMahon looking in. And this one stays out of the net. Makes his way, bumps up the wall, and that puck will leave the zone. Now it's back the airway as Riley will have it out. Again to Nylander. And then Domi will have it out. The big kick. Svechikov trying to answer that one with his own rebound and trying to smack it out. I don't know if it's going to keep on happening. Well, such a golf is really like nice, nice to take an effort, but that's not going to let them change. The better the way it's been doing this it is not going to happen like that. How they play it is just how brutal this is. And they can't leave that far by one. Now the face off's coming up right now, and we're going nearing a 90 second mark in this first period. They're waiting for Domi, and a shot saved by Kochikov. He's stripped up. They're going to get a power play for the Toronto Maple Leafs. We're nearing under 90 seconds, and Svechikov is in the penalty box. You can't play it like that with Svechikov. That trips somebody over? It's just going to be a bad idea to play it like that. The power play comes on for Toronto Maple Leafs. We're under 90 second mark, and of course. As the move puts it for Nylander. Good save! Now they're ready to take the next face off. It's still a 2 nothing lead in the first. Carolina wins the face off. As this will give it off to Otto to clear that out. Give and go over. Here's another room for Slavin for two goals in a game that's been denied by Samson. Oh, what a good chance opportunity to the range. I was almost going to be turning things out of here. Time thinking down right now as Burner fires it. Slept save by Samson. And Riley will have it over to get it for Terzi. For Terzi, no offside whistle on Nate Maple Leafs, and this one goes to the Save, puts it up by Spencer on Kochikov. Ago. Got that time, and this one will clear that out. And Matthews. Oh, Ago! Almost had a chance here, but this one's bubbled out here in the traffic zone. And Paterzi will have it over it. Oh, he's got that puck here, and now he will have it again to Jarvis. Jarvis trying to make his way through. The spin move. He went down, and it's back to Martyr the airway. With 35 seconds with a shot and saved by Kochikov. 1.1 seconds left in the first, and this will be keep the line for the power play for the second period. A little bit of time, but not a lot. And that will do it, and this one will fire that deep. Two rows to score. Carolina still looking like they wanted to have some them creeping streaking in a win to sweep out the Maple Leafs, so let's hope that they can do it. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back as we're ready to start the second period in Toronto. And we're off to do this, so let's get right into work. 
Our great ones to take in here for the first period, as I have it over to you guys for the recap of how they do. Playing it for really well, it's just how they can definitely handle it all. They play doing so hard in the quitting. The better this game is not always easier enough, but to take a lot of its hard effort, it was certain to be okay for them, but not enough to make that one with the beatable power play at this moment. Yeah, I have no idea how this is going to happen, but they've really been like keeping on a show again, and it doesn't really mean that they're going to need to try to get this one over. Maybe we just got to start finding another way to get this goal. Now to win for today, as he has a pass shot. What a block! And Martyr will now have it over to clear it out. And it's funny with the puck steal. Clears that puck out of here, and this one will go right in towards the wing. Nate just now fires that puck over again, Bunny, and now has it again. Nice gets it again, Marner. Marner finds it to Riley. Riley right now again to Matthews. Matthews towards the wing. Off again, a shot score! They are on the board. It's a 2 0 game. Hurricanes. Well, that weight has already been over. That quick for the second period must have turned to be naive on the shot. This was their option. This is what they don't really do to make this a little bit of a change out of the other way. I know this is happening now. But don't let that get uncomfortable for them. And the way puts it in for the hard case as he now kicks it over to Stingy. Stingy goes right turn around the net and finally get a Drew. Goes it over to Pesky again a bunny. When he shoots, left save by Samsonov. Two ones to score with 18.28 to go in a second. Now they're on to the next face-off. Saul wins the face-off, and now here's Pesky. Pesky couldn't get that puck in right between the legs. And finally Skidgy right over again to Jarvis. Jarvis got a little bit of a big kick here. Yeah, Jarvis can't hold on with that puck. Here's Bertuzzi. There's the other way, and it's Martin up with the puck. Now finds Saul right toward in the right wing. Gives it over to Martin up shot. This one's chopped up. This one goes back to Jarvis. Too many bodies in the way. As Chatfield will now have it over again in Stingy. Stingy shoots it. Missed it wide. Oh, uh, that's not going to happen. I don't think it's not going to make a goal out there. It's just going to be too wide. Got to make some fix. And Jarvis now finds he got a Martin up. Martin up. Fires that out. Riley has that puck. And he now has it over again to Domi. It'll be right toward the wing. Here's Fetchikoff. Pass over now, finding Terabina. And this one doesn't hit, we'll divide it up. Here's Orlov, shot. This one's redirected. Yarnbrook over it again to McMahon. McMahon fires that puck. And Orlov will have it over. Face it along again is Fetchikoff. Makes his way up in a move. Rebounds that puck. Now finds it over to get to Slavin. Slavin went down and the puck was sails out of here. Well, that's not going to change things up indifferently. This one is keeping up here. The Maple Leafs are doing really well with defense. I was really stunned about how they did. But that wasn't really what they were expecting it out. They played like this before. And this is never going to let it not change already because that was a really like a hard way to get through it. I know it isn't very easy for them. But hey, let's listen to this. If they're playing it really well, they've got to try to fix it up again. Jury, trying to get the puck out in the zone. And touch a pop will have it over now to slab it. The piece pass over to Natchez. Natchez, the man on him, birds. Just to Natchez with the backhand. No deflection, it's off the net. And this one puts another hit for Hurricanes. Look at the battling right now. They're doing it already. Taking it in here and in between. Here's a shot and it's been blocked up. 15 minutes remaining in the second. Takes a swipe out of him. He now has a big enemy called Kennedy. And it's now back to Nozin. Nozin. The Buck Enemy shoots his way 
Hey, Angus Ryan doesn't take it in there. Now he's with the puck, right over into the right wing. Over now, corner shot, score! Yeah, tied up now. Two and two is the score in second. Well, that's going to take a little bit of amount of time. I really did say that Mitchell Warner got a great goal. He's just had another looking in his eye. Just imagine that if you're playing it like, like the Maple Leafs. But this point will happen just like that. When a shooting guy has been given in here, but I said it to be the seeking through right within the vision between a defender and the goaltender. That turned to be a little great on turning over with the speed of it. And that one turns with a great shot angle. That keeps it in there. Great moment to pick it up. Both teams are tied up for two, as Naiz and their team try to look his way in to keep it alive. And it's finally clock enemy. And fast will have it over. Get this over. Matthews with the steal. Gonna go for a lead, and this one's in his Austin Matthews giving it a successful win. You just never see what happened here. That one is escaping the pad, and this was not turning really what Austin Matthews has been doing for. This has to keep it in there, and this one was trying to keep that one covered up. Well, watch what happened. That one was rolling out, and this one it rolls in there with the net. That one chases it over. It doesn't mean anybody who has really gotten it through. Got to get that one up, but this didn't work. So the Maple Leafs are in front right now. It is now a 3-2 game. The win for Toronto Maple Leafs. And it's over to Jarvis. Sketchy. Tries to get over now, find again to Martin up. And with a chance at Burr. Takes a bump at Burr. This one keeps it over to Jarvis. And this one's back again to Domi with the puck steal. And here they go again. Her shot. Stopped again by Puck Chekhov. During the midway record period, he will fire it up on the run net. No open look here. Finds Bennett. Gives to McCabe. This one pokes. And it's rebounded here by Jarvis. Jarvis finds again a stall and he goes right over to Orlov. Toward the middle. Takes a little bit of a hit. And it's Orlov with the rebounding puck. Chance with a missed pass play opportunity as Kuchikov will try to give it over again. And Orlov will have it over in the middle. Give it over to Tara Vinan. The rebound puts to Chaffield. And now it's Svechikov. Chaffield. The stall. Broken up by Bertuzzi. And Domi will try to handle it in. Shot stopped by Kuchikov. New line change for the Toronto Maple Leafs as Ocos bringing it up. The heat pressure. Back to Bennett. Weez has got that one in there, and he now tries to have it over in toward the right way. Camp shot, saved by Kuchikov. Chaffield now has it again to Svechikov. Try to roll it in from Tyke, and Sarvainen, close save by Samsonov. Under 12 minutes remaining in the second, and we're getting closer to the midway mark of the period. Big abounding as the call, and it's still a 3-2 game, Toronto. Now the wing for Sebastian Ako. He give over to Slavin. Slavin! Not a chance here for Turvining. As now it's Riley back the airway. They give over to Camp. Camp fires that puck out. And Ako will have it over. The kick over now flying over to Slavin. Cut in bounds. And Turvining will have it. Racing and back again to Burns. Here's the shot. Drury! Off the blocker and it goes up in the netting out of play. Lots of time left in this period. Three teams to score as, Ter as Toronto is up ahead by one. Carolina wins the faceoff. Burns will now try to get their group in there. Goes right to Slavin. Goes right for the crease and a rebound and he scores! Wow, what a deflection put back for Drury. Another goal in the playoffs. That's what happens now because the Drury, you make this one a great of his chance opportunity play, 
And this one keeps it back in there. If you go quonks it in, and it's just made that one in there to go back in from the top of the stick, and it just went right in toward the net. That was excellent. Carolina not finished yet in the second period. They're still fighting for it, trying to get an even game before the end of it. Or we'll go for the lead. He's going to take for Matthews. And a shot. Pat saved by Kochikov. He now races over again to Bunny. Bunny. Point down. Nature's just trying to get over right in toward it in the middle. And a shot to Slavin. Saved by Santanov. That's a little bit too close out there for Samson Lava. This one really needs to keep up the same bear again. Now they're off to a next face-off. Carolina and the Leafs are tied up. And the win puts it in for the Toronto Maple Leafs as Riley will have it over. Matthews right over in toward the middle. To the cross, it's the legal lead zone, and Burns will have it in. To keep the plug and play inbound, a chance looking for an opportunity range. Pass is broken up. Jury tries to give it back to Natchez as he quickly as he slides quickly over to Burns. Looks to Natchez, and it's Matthews with the puck steal. Now he's with the chance. Pokes it out. Now Pesky will have it. Fine stall. And back to Pesky. Bringing it back again to Skedgy. Looks over to Saul. Saul, the cut and bound. Martin will try to give over again. Now finding Skedgy again to Pesky. Looks over to Skedgy. Skedgy fires a shot. For a rebound, this one saved off by Santanov. Matthews. Dumps the puck into the own end. And Saul will have it in. Under nine minutes remaining in the second. Here's Jarvis. Big hit! Wow, what a smackdown. Oh, that's going to be a hurtful. I was never seeing what's going to happen now, but that is like a smashed collision on there. There's no way that they could try and defend it. <clears throat> Big stop here by Kochikov. And now it's sketchy. He now finds it over to get a cock enemy. Gives it over. And a pass off is broken up. Pass gets the pesky. And here's Skedgy. Shoots! Bluff save by Samsonov. 8.15 left to remain in the second period. Both teams still tied up for three. Now they're ready to do the next face off. Three and three is the tie game. But can he win the face off? And this one is gloved up. That's not going to get through it. Now we're ready to do the next face-off. Three and three is the score, and eight ten to go. Another win for Toronto. Logan now finding Brody. Again to Nylander. Nylander shoots it! And a stop made by Kuchikov. Orlov has it again to Nozin. Nozin fires that one around, and Fast will have it over to get to Chatfield. Here's all out. Shoots it. Love saving. Samsonov couldn't get this one right and straight if he almost loses that puck. But it's a great way that he made another save. Yeah, it's great enough to make that one appearance. It's not going to let that happen, but they need to get the through. Skilled up challenge for Andrei Svechikov as he makes that one a clear motion on the view. His better way is to keep that one in there on his lacrosse angle, and he hasn't done it for any of her games. He can definitely go right from the side, or up and over the net, or even anywhere right or wrap around to have that shot go in. It's a chance there, guys, but I'm hoping that the skill that might be the next thing to do. We'll see what he does. Back to you. Here's Shafia. Save on the play by time. Well, the number, Samson off shot. And Luka will have it over again on the other side. Carolina back in the offensive zone as Shafia will now have it in. The pass off to Avo. Bucking and broken it up here with 6.45 to go. Try to get the puck out of here and for Jersey. Things up in the air. Slavin will now have it over again to Aqua again to Burns. 
And Burns has it over to Svechikov. Give another play to Ango. Shot safe. Puts it in by Zetanov. Rebound puts it in for right to Ravinen. And this one stopped again by the goaltender. 6 11 to go in the second period. Carolina showing the forces to attack. But this keeps on denying. Yes, that definitely did what they were expecting to. They need to do something else about it. If the goaltender shows up, your, shows up by, they need to change it up differently. They can't let it lose anybody over if they have. And Barton now finds it over to get a Slavin. 5.45 left to go in the second period. As Jarvis has that puck in. Give off to Martin. Martin shoots it. Never one glove stop made by Santanov. Well, he's got to do something else differently. He can't go deep. He's got to try to find another different look here if he has it. Now to move the stall. Pesky now has it over again to Sketchy. Sketchy, for a cut, blocked up. Wrap around it, doesn't able to keep it in here, but this one stays right behind the net. Now Pesky again to Martin. Martin gives it over to Sketchy. Right over with the back pass again to Martin. Martin doesn't able to know where he's doing, but now he's just trying to see what he can get an open man look. But the defender was on him. Yeah, not too much has to say about this one, but this needs to get this one clean. They can't lose their time effort because if there's something happens, they gotta do something quick. And saved it in right near the net. Got to stop by Samsonov. Oh, that was like a little close to the range out there. I was never seeing what's gonna go on, but that really has to be out there. Just a little bit of a change up, and this one needs to be a close to the range of the gap. Here's John Brooke. On a shot, off the blocker made here by Kochakov. Skidgy, sprinting across, looks it over to Bunning. And this one's breaking into play, and there's the interference. Not going to be turning green at all, but Hurricanes are in the power, are in the penalty box. Power plays on for the Maple Leafs. Yeah, it's not playable when you do that. That's when it's going to change things up. And this is not what you do for Michael Bunning, because he had way to his attack, and he's just trying to put a shot on it. That's on four. Jacob Simon is going to shut down the middle of the year on, their, on his defensive run to make the setup in. His better take is to keep that player on the line and try to stop him down. I'll find out if there isn't room to get through it. Back to you. And there's an arrow white here for Austin Matthews. He's struck on that ability, he might be able to take it cleaner to have a great look at his open response. I'll find out if he has that bare shot in this game in the power play to keep on going. Back to you. And here's the tapes. Chance for Marner. Shot score! Two goals in this game, and now we are up in the lead. It's a power play for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Well, that was easy enough. That's just what's going to happen to Mitchell Warner to keep it in. You know, constantly what Mitchell Warner has been doing. Going with the backhand shot. This one really makes his pressure right across the zone. Maybe that would have been an easy ball, but that's why we did. And they really are expecting that. The coach of Pop just didn't really get this one saving it up in time. That's what the Maple Leafs are doing. Be better. The win puts it in for the Hurricanes, and now you will have it again to Oppo. Oppo, another shot saved by Samsonov. Under four minutes remaining in the second, four threes to score. Centers are lined up, ready for the next face-off. And now the win puts it in for Toronto Maple Leafs. See you along the zone. Here's Marner. Big stop here by Kochakov. Here's Slavin. Here's to Oppo. Oppo shoots. Close save. Have to be more than you, know, you have to beat more than you do because another save puts in by the goaltender. Offer wins the face off and now finds Burns. Burns got stick lifted. Here comes the play for Naiz. 
Bounce that puck out. And this one will be slapping back the other way. Keep the pass to Abo. Abo. Cut inbound, no good. This one goes right back again to Matthews. He's right toward the corner of the wall. Abo battling for the puck effort. Great take over Sebastian Abo, as he will now have it over to get a slapping. Gets off to Drury. Drury. Shoot! Saved by Samsonov. Nearing a two minute mark in the second period. 4 3 score for Toronto. And as the way puts it in for Toronto, he now finds it again in Nylander. Nylander fires that one right around the net. Then Pesky has it over now. They just, they just lose the effort. Pony, right toward his way down in the middle. Loses the effort. Natchez, trying to play it in. The pass to Bunning. Shot saved by Samsonov. Under two minutes remaining in the second. And they're trying to keep that answer alive. Not even what they're all expecting right now, but that's what they already have to do. They've got to make sure that they need to keep it in there. Not sure what's going on. Just trying to freeze that puck here for the goaltenders. Because they don't want anyone to try to keep that puck out away from them. Because if there is another, another choice in there, that's what's going on because with the moment. And they're not really picking it up in here and playing it. Well, they need to do some a little bit more aggressiveness to keep it in there. This is going right toward in toward right wing. Gomi to Bertuzzi. Back to Ibushkin. What a shot block by Natchez. That was like no how to happen. I was really noticing that it was, was going to be taking it over right in between. And what an excellent put here to have that one with a great stoppage in the play. You know the inbound, I always never see what it's going to look like. They just really have nowhere else to be. Their arrangement is, is, no one's getting a good use of it, but that skills need to be out there a better take. Need some pressure out there to keep it going. We're under a final minute in the second period as he now has it over again. The pass over, stall. On a shot, save by Samsonov. Here's Ibushkin. Right toward the corner, Saul takes it over, and Terramine and his group, as it rolls out of the puck. Bumped up in the corner. Marnock finds again a Hako. Hako finds Fetchkov, and he now finds Terramine. Terramine lost the effort. Down to two seconds. With the close, and he will not get it in time as the shot's blocked. That ends the second period of the game. A lot of score to be remembered of, but we'll get right to you soon after this. Two down, one to go. Ready to start the third. And it's been a one while of this night in game four, and we are ready to see how this is goes in. With the Maple Leafs in the lead, I have your take saving for you guys of how they did in the first, second period we got. Well, they have to deal with something else about it because they have no idea what's going on. They need to play through something that is really important. They need to get right into moving. When no one has a chance or opportunity, they need to get somebody else with another, another key to get through it. And I know they're playing in a really like, oh man, that is a hard place of the game. It's not what they're turning to be okay for, but they gotta play it like they do it for real. Let's hope that they can tie this game up. And now Slavin. Slavin shot. Tips it up and broke in the glass. That's going to be a painful hit on a collateral damage. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't even just try to flick the glass out there. That's going to be like a hurt. Hey, did someone actually just bump in its glass? That's going to pain make the painful worse. That's going to be a lot of pain out there. Are you setting a build on me? I guess if they are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think they might be. Here's Riley. He now finds it again in the ice. Now he's moving to the cross. Right toward in the way. This one levels up in the corner on the wall, and this one will go right towards the R way. Right toward near the end of it. And here's another chance for such a cost. Saved by Samsonov. 18-25 left to go in the third. At the start of the third period in game four. Both teams have 24 face-off wins. The next one will be able to take the lead. Or the face-off win. Toronto wins the face-up, and they are currently in the lead. Here's Matursi. Right on a slot off the glove. But he now finds Drury. Drury gives again to Natchez. 
Aegis. Right toward the wing. This one gets over to Buddy. Buddy, for a chance to play. This way is up in good traffic, and this one goes right back the other way to Slavin. Slavin shoots for two. Well, saved by Slavin. That one's going to get over this at a better timing angle. I don't know what's going to keep on happening, but that needs to be that close game that they need to get there to be. And it worked with today. And this one's up and chopped up again. Drury. Well, now I have to try to reset it again to Slavin, all the way back down to the home game zone. He now finds it over again to Bunny. Bunny. Right toward it in the middle. This one's chopped it up again, as this one now brings it again to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi fires that puck out. And schedule will now have that puck in deliver it out to Bunny Burns. And here's another one. More enough to go swap it at a hit. And there's another hit. Back again to Bertuzzi. Once again to Riley. Riley tries to roll it in. Good pull check by Skedgy. That's what you play out there because that Skedgy is making a good pull check. This one needs to be up. On a great timing angle, this one needs to be showing it how it's done. Far enough. Lost the puck. Now it's fine again. Over and out to Naives. 16.30 left to go in third period. This one has another mark. Matthews. Lock the shot, gives up nothing in front. And trying to give it over again. Now finding the pass over to Matthews. Matthews with a shot. Cracks down. This one goes back to Libushkin. And he will try it over again to Marner. Marner moves around. Saved by Kochikov. This one's no joke. Kochikov almost had that one with the big save of it. But he's, this one is really keeping it in here if he gets that through. And Bresci shot. Saved here by, by Samsonov. And Ago has it again. Skedgy to Pesky. Pesky gives it again to Skedgy. Skedgy. The pass to Svechikov. Svechikov loses that puck. And it's Marner back the other way. Off of the play. Big smash down. Finds again to Pesky. And this one has broken up the play. And this one will go back the other way to Tavares. 15 minutes remaining in third. And the pass is broken it again. And this one misses wide. Pesky has to get a such a cough. Such a cough. Unable to get it out goal. Their line shot left. Save by Samson out. Under 15 minutes remaining in the third. There gets them a little bit of a switching defense and offense. They're ready for the next count. And so you do have an update here for BFDI and TPOT. As the crews have been working very hard for the animation. They are just about to bring things back right now, so if you would like to go check that one out with the BFDI to BOT 11, don't forget, his reaction video is on a playlist, so I have the calling card up here, and with the, and with the video episode, you can definitely click the link in the description and go check it out. Dak and Jelly is doing really well, so I give a special uh, thank you to them. They've done their excellent job. With the crew workers of animators, they've been doing really well. I'm really impressed with everybody who is really keeping an eye on it, but that's a hard one that you got to play it, plan it out for. But this is what I really like, I mean, you got to enjoy it most. I really say that this one has been turning it great. And for the anime sanity, I think that season two is keeping up the keeping back in, so I guess you'll see how it's coming up back in there. And there's choice. And as a win puts it in for Domi. Domi shot saved up by Pochakov. Carolina back on the attack. Here's an R8 steer for Burns. Burns tries to give it over. Slavin can't get the puck in. Domi. Domi with the shot. Locked it up. And blocked here by Burns. Nose in. Has it over to Fats. Fats. Looking for a cut and play. Finds Slavin. And Burns shoots it. Saved on Samsonov. Oh, what a takeover. I was really noticing that Samson was getting up a great save, but that one keeps it out here on a chance. What a stop. As Toby wins the faceoff, as Riley will have it again on that boost hit. And loses the puck. Here's a go and give and go moment, and he went down. They just try to fill it in. Pulls it inbound, and this one keeps it out. Burns keeps the puck alive. Finding Slavin. Looks to Natchez. Shoots it! 
No deflection given in here for Natchez. And Slavin will now have to get a Burns. Burns got bumped up a little bit. Slavin will decide to give over the Burns with a loose puck of a slap shot. Shoots it, saved by Santanov. 12 3 left to go in the third period. 4 3 is the score. Well, this is going to happen right now. I mean, they need to do something a little bit different now. They don't play well. I mean, this is not what they do. They don't get up to it in time. They need to do something else to get there quick. As right now, the Leafs will win the faceoff. And here's another one take here for Knights. Knights on the effort. Spin around. Looks again to Marner. Slavin takes it over the puck and now finds Drury. Hurricanes with the puck in possession. Gets to Natchez for a chance. He scores! Great go ahead goal for Martin Natchez. And now they're even again. Well, it's a back to back one, so I was really noticing that this one keeps it in there. Great pass here for Drury, and that's when you give it up to, to Martin Natchez. This one got delivered in, and this one is just bouncing up, and this one's off the pad. Got a great goal. He turned in. Two goals in this game just have to be always including one, but this one has no other questions of how he definitely did it. He's been doing really well, but I mean, hey, just do what your best is. You got to get going. And the way we'll put it in for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and Pesci will have it the airway. 12 minutes remaining in the third. And scores! Andre Smetikov. What a rebound. And a, what a goal make. I think this is what happens. Smetikov, just made this one earlier. I think he had better perfect timing range out there. And this is what happens right now. That goal deflected. That one was excellent for Smetikov to keep it in here. Now they're in the lead. They're fighting right now. You're bringing the Canadian team out of them. My goodness. Pesky, but the assistant right now at this moment, it looks like they wanted to get into the finals. Last season was cut short here by the Eastern Conference Finals facing against the Boston Bruins. But it seemed like the Canadian team might be the next team to be out of here. So I think it's the American team that's going to be moving on to the finals for the Eastern Conference. But we don't know what happened here for what's going to happen in the Western Conference side in between the East for the Canadian or the American team. There might be a choice in the race. Well, I guess it might be now. I mean, you got to change the example. And this may not be what they're all calling for, but you got to do on your own. Such a confident melody box. They'll get the power play on for the Maple Leafs. Maple Leafs. A chance effort to tie this game. Now the women put it in for the Hurricanes. And this one will carry, carry out of the puck for Sketchy. And now it's rolling over again. Jarvis spins it across with the speed right in the middle. This one can't get into it. And another tripping has been released. Jarvis in a penalty box. And they are not doing so well. well. I think the bad problem right now for Seth Jarvis, he just said already been knocking that one in here. He is complaining right towards the ref. He didn't really think he was going to do that. And um, with that way, he just hit off the blade. This one says, nope, that takes it over, and this is not going to happen like that. You know, and coaches are making a bad, bad calls and decision, and this one is not turning really well. But you need to do something else to try to, like, keep it out instead. And shot, stop bait near by Kochikov. Nearing down the mid of the period, as he now has it off the schedule, and Peshki will now have it cleared out. Watching Darko. With the five on three advantage. Here's Ludwig. And Elander. Hooked it away. Over the shot. Save it. Off by Kochikov. Sketchy pokes that puck. And it's off to Stahl. And back to Yarnbrook again to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi right over in towards the weight. Faces the cross. And a shot. Stop made by Kochikov. Besky tries to get that way over. Under a minute remaining in the five on three attack. And your uncle will have it over again to Bertuzzi. Here's Lugren. Chance up in play. Try to bump it out. And there's another tight slow. That was a final three power play goal for the Leafs. They are now tied. Well, this is going to happen now. I mean, nothing but the take is. This is going to keep on racing back again. There's no other way you can try to defend that. The puppet string is making it easier for Nylander. Ask me another goaltender, got a great rest to take. 
Teams are tied up at five, and this one is now a five-five game. They're in a midway mark of the period, and we're about to pass it here. One man is out of the penalty box, and the other one is still in the penalty box with a chance of a power play for the lead. And this one goes right over again to Slavin. And Slavin, Birds will keep that puck in clear. And Samsonov will have it again to Matthews. Matthews finds Riley. And this one keeps it out. And here's another take. The other side for Burns as he will fire that out of here, now finding Aho. Looks to Terabine in for the backhand. This one, but can get in time. And this one stops the play with under 9.3 to go in the third. Ball pitches again set, ready to drop the puck. Tight games so far. 5-5, five and five, Toronto and Carolina. And the win puts in for Toronto Maple Leafs as McMahon will have it. Looks like it's time, it's about to expire. And that will do here for the Maple Leafs on a chance to better lead, which will be cut short. But it's only the tie for the power play in this game, and they've done really well. You know, ever doesn't happen to be anybody, but I'm always going to say this when it's a great goal. You know, everybody's been doing it really well. And I say that this one's for William Nylander, put that straight but in a little trick. He got a great run there with his use. Fire the range rocket out there, and this one turns it up, and they go up and right up above here in a crossbar, and this one just keeps on flying back. I mean, I was really impressed. So instead of that point, as he got a great one with a new episode here for BFDI TPOT 11, it's in mid of a June, so if you'd like to go check that one out, be sure to watch the Gear Jack and Jellyfee. And they are also working hard here for episode 12, so that will be rescheduled and get ready for the next day. So that will be their next put for episode 12 for the BFDI and MA6, BFDI TPOT. And the, for the other side will be episode 15 of the Inanimate Sanity of season 2, episode 15. So I'm sorry you guys, this one is my apologies to make the mistake, but I hopefully think that this show is going to be excellent for you guys to keep it going. You know, you are definitely happy enough, we're happy to make the episode clear and possible. We're hoping that everybody's enjoying the show, I bet. Oh, and I'll be seeing you on the other side pretty soon. So the trip right now here for New York for New York City will be Center Beast, so he'll be making one of the videos here of this of its own time, of its own document, on this live video. And the BFDI TPOT of the BFDI and MA Sandy Tour. That'll be all it takes in here. That will be another one that will be answering some of the, the amazing uh, blog strips and for some uh, conversations to, for enjoyment and with some amazing Q&A questions and also leading it out, checking out the NYU and Spurball at the theater and of course the Q&A if, if he has time, if he has a chance. So I'll be all the videos here after the show is finished been complete. You don't want to miss that one now if you're going to be up to the MSA any tour and if you have tickets right now, make sure you head your way early and eat at every show time before it goes to the traffic everywhere, right in the city. Yeah, we want to make sure that everybody's is okay, so we hope that everybody stays safe. And hope you enjoy it too. Here's Aho not Honey Burns. Burns was that puck effort and now has to begin to such a con. Aho finding sketchy. Then he shoots close save by Santanov. 6.16 left to go in the third. Nearly down the end of a regulation period, still a tie game. Now they're up to the next face off. Five and five to score, Toronto and Carolina. Matthews wins the face off. Lebushkin will now have it over again tomorrow. Mark spinning across. This one reaches in. Matthews shot, blocked it up. And a shot for a rebound. This one stays out. Great save by Kochakov. And Agos got this time. You know, it definitely an answer right now. I mean, I was really noticing that this one keeps it in here. They made up in a clear call, got a goal. Kelly has been signaled on Spachikov, and he's in the penalty box. That's not going to happen now, because Spachikov, he really had a hard time, but this one has been whacking someone's face already. See? Ouch! That's going to hurt. And they're going to make that power play come in for the Maple Leafs to score and take the lead.
Dallas to win point up four. The Ford of Hurricanes, and you're not trying to get a bunny. And she will pull the puck out of here. And Samson off will play, carry that one, leaving it alone. And Yonkwip will have it over to get it to Boris. To Boris, right toward the left wing. Can roll down with the puck. Now it's back and over again to Olaf. Now he finds it over to get it to Sheffield. Sheffield fires that puck right around the net. Drury gives it over to Olaf. Olaf couldn't hold on with the puck. Let's see getting a bunny. Bunny. Shoot! Score! The man, this is silent right now. Michael Bunning gets his shorthanded goal while the power play still keeps going for the Leafs. You know, it's not always easy enough to say for Michael Bunning, but that is what this goal has made. This one was really keeping an eye on it. Right around the defender, and there was no time to waste. And this one keeps it in. Got beats over Samson off. He got a great goal. That's an excellent take. A shocking surprise right now for the Carolina Hurricanes as they're up in the lead by one. Five minutes remaining in the third period. They still have time to think about it. The shoes in between. And we'll have, we'll have it now again to Bunny. Bunny will sweep the puck out of the zone. And it's back to Chatfield. Here's Olaf, and this one gets back to Chaffield. Fans still applying for the Leafs to get right back into it. And Bunny will try to reset it up across. Here's Nylander, right towards his way down. And that puck is sailed out, and it's stolen by the Canes. 35 seconds left to remain in the Leafs power play, and Stahl will have it over. Nylander has got that puck. The Maple Leafs are making their way down into the Kane zone. The Hurricanes regain their group. Gains the zone right toward in the other side. In a slot of it right now, he will roll it right around the net. And it's back to your arm throw. Spencer Gall is ready to go. No chance here for a tie. And it's now an end for the power play for the Toronto Maple Leafs. A shocking disappointment doesn't really mean to anybody. And I was really disappointed with what they happened with, with the Toronto Maple Leafs. But the shocking thing is, it's for Carolina. They've been scoring at whatever it takes in here. We have no other choice to do because this one is not putting in a great way to make a mood out of them. This is why they can't let them make in a better changeup on their angle. And I know it's not really hard for them to try to keep it going. And he scores! Michael Bunning. Two goals in the playoffs. And now they're bringing their team in to the finals. Oh, yes, they do. I and mean, this is where the time comes in for Bunny's team. What a great effort here for Bunny. And he had made that one in the center. After this one, Wood Soups it around here. And he makes this one a great goal. This one is up and away on a deflection off the uh, the pad. And this one just went right toward the net to pat the extension up by two. As right now, Michael Bunny is adding another goal in the playoffs, the postseason. Just 3.06 to go, and I think this is definitely the end for the Toronto Maple Leafs. They've been knocking down the Florida Panthers, then the Boston Bruins, but uh, sadly, this happened to be it, because the Eastern Conference Finals is where it ends here for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah, I know, it's been like a sad one, but as I always mention, it is a great postseason for Toronto Maple Leafs to keep it going. I was really impressed with how they did, but hey, Play more than you can do. They really have done their work on the effort. They've done great. Here's a chance. That's the send over to me phone. What'd you take? William Nylander's been doing really well with the puck on a string moment. This is his best moment that he has gotten the goal. And this one has gotten great towards it right for the line. I'm really impressed with William Nylander and how he did for two. This one's off and chopped away as you will now hover over again. The pass over, and there is a penalty on the ball. And they're offside as Maturzi is going to get into the penalty box. And that's going to be a, yep, a man to put up an interference. That's going to turn the other way. Not so good at all for Tyler Maturzi. I think that is it. It's the end for the Maple Leafs. I know this was not turning to be a great day for them. But as you may have already know, this one, it truly hurts. Got a win for today for Carolina and schedule. I have it over to Natchez. 
fires it deep. Score! Martin Natchez. Two goals in this game. And he has been rocking it down. Power play for Carolina. Watch how deep he went. From corner wall. He made this and made this. That is just no way. When you make the pass over the schedule, this is what made Martin Natchez did. Fires it deep and just went right toward the net. I have no idea how long he just made that shot. That is way deep. Can't believe it. And the win will put it in for Tavares. It's Lugren again to Yonko. Yonko will now try to give over to Lugren and stop by Kochikov. And Pesky will have it over again. Now give off to Bunny. Bunny right toward the right wing. He fires that one off to Natchez. Off to Sketchy again to Pesky. Pesky goes down. And Sketchy will now have it over again. The pass off to Natchez. Looks his way down to Sketchy. Sketchy gets to Drury. Drury. Broken the pass. And this one goes back the other way for Carolina's own. And Sketchy will grip grab their line change as right now he has it over to Bunny. Bunny still trying to hang on. And now finds Tavares. This one keeps it out. And Ago will now try to have it out. This one's stopped by Kochikov. One of seven left to remain in the third period. And the fans are definitely in silent right now. It is Scotty and Bank Arena. This is definitely it. Yeah, no chance effort right now. I mean, this is it. No time effort. This is going to be like one of your takes. Just like the first round happened to be a sweep over on the Flyers. But this is definitely it. Not a take all ever, but that is really like nothing else to be playing for like we did. Tripped him up. And that will be the last one for Svechikov to be in the penalty box. Last chance for the power play for the Maple Leafs. This one keeps in with under a minute to go. We'll see if he can get another goal. And win for Carolina as he now have a deep out. Under 50 seconds remaining in the third. And Riley will have it over the airway. The deep pass to Will Will Nylander. Back to Bertuzzi. Misses a wide. Burns will now try to have it over. Down to 30 seconds in the regulation period. And Jarvis will now have it over again to Saul. It has been a wild run for the Maple Police, but unfortunately, this all comes to say goodbye to the Canadian team. Yes, it's definitely it. I mean, it's over. Because right now, Canes are just making their way to the finals for the first time. And what do we know? They played well. That's how you can do. Play what you got. And that's it for now, folks. That's all, folks. With the, with the new lander and disappointment, it's now Kane's win. The series on a sweep of the Eastern Conference Finals, 4-0 of the game. That's what definitely happens right now, and this is where the goal comes in there. In between the, of the gaps of the zone by Hurricanes, they've been playing it so well. What an epic journey. And they're moving on to the finals. With Tyler Beats along with Ballpoint Pen and Boyd Cruz, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Conference Finals on EA Sports. Have a great night, and we'll see you all again next time. Adios, everybody. All right, thank you so much, guys. I really can't appreciate that Carolina sweeps out four games in a row. And this is what definitely happened right now. How they have done like they did. Now, I think it's now time to see what goes in for three star players of the game. Third star, about to start things over a bit, as I give it over to the other way to have it start on a, a range and run. That goes to Natures with two goals of his, with the second star, and Jacob Slavin with another two goals of his game. He really made this one easier, look, played it great, done it ever. And in first, first star player goes to Jack Drury. He just made this one a goal with four assists and one hit. And hey, that's always right, I mean, you played it always really well for Jack Drury, I mean, that's what you have to done it before. For the last part of a game, he's been on fire. And with all statistics on the other side, 67 shots on goal for, for over 44 for Carolina, and it was 82 hits over 43 for Toronto. 
1225 Carolina on time on attack over 3 for 51. 92 over 74 for Toronto on the passing percentage. And it's 39 over 32 for Toronto. And it was 12 minute penalty kill for Carolina over 4. One power play goal made for Carolina with 205 and a short game goal. And two power play goals for Toronto with 725 left in the power play minute. Well, folks, that's it for now. We say goodbye to the Eastern Conference Finals as the Carolina Hurricanes are your Eastern Conference Finals champion of the NHL 22 of the Conference Finals of the Stanley Cup. They are moving on to the to the Stanley Cup Finals, and they'll be playing against the winner in between Vancouver or Dallas. We'll find out who can take it all. In the meantime, thanks for joining us, and peace out for a while as the NHL Conference Finals on EA Sports Style. This is OJ and Fan. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again next time. Have a great night in Toronto. And in Carolina. Until we meet again. Bye-bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.